All right, one thing health experts have noticed over the past year or so, with a lot of people keeping their distance from each other and wearing masks when they're out, when they couldn't keep their distance. Weird, we saw a decline in other respiratory viruses, fewer flu infections, not as many cases of the common cold. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, reports from around the globe showed there was a 98% reduction in respiratory syncytial, syncytial, excuse me, respiratory syncytial virus during the pandemic. It's otherwise known as RSV, and it usually hits children younger than two. Serious cases can put kids in the hospital. So anytime we see a decrease in those possibilities, well, that's a good thing. However, as things begin to open up and people have started to gather again, experts are now seeing a peak in RSV cases in Idaho. And that's unusual for this time of year because it's usually a winter season sickness, but it's not really a surprise to see this uptick. Here's Katya Stepovic. Throughout the pandemic, some families may have noticed that their kids didn't get the typical flu, seasonal cold, or annual RSV. During the times that we would usually see RSV, which would be, you know, uh, January, February, March, people were still social distancing and they were wearing masks, and so the virus wasn't spreading during that time. Last year, when, when people were, I think, particularly cautious and careful, um, we went eight months without seeing a single case of RSV where we usually see a thousand cases that need to be admitted to the hospital or who need to be seen regularly over the course of a few days. We saw zero. The American Academy of Pediatrics says RSV or respiratory syncytial virus sends around 57,000 children ages five and younger to the hospital each year with around 500,000 ER visits. But this year, seeing typical peak months with very little case counts gave medical experts hope until now. Usually July and August, we don't have any RSV patients and we have many in the hospital right now. Beth Cleveno, a pediatric hospitalist at St. Luke's, says that's most likely because social distancing and masking practices have eased. So we're getting a combination of winter viruses, COVID, and the usual summer illnesses that we see. And all those together lead to a higher census on the floor. While only 2 to 3% of RSV patients get admitted to the hospital with bronchiolitis, which is inflammation in the lower airways, the concern is now having available room to treat those patients. Just two weeks ago, the pediatric floor at St. Luke's was at full capacity. We had to hold uh, patients in the ER for a longer time, and we did have to transfer patients out of state. As a parent, I think that'd be extremely difficult and it's, I, I wouldn't ever want to turn anybody away because we don't have enough, enough capacity. But if RSV and COVID and seasonal illnesses continue to spread, transferring pediatric patients outside of the state could once again become a reality. I do think it's possible at some point and that's why we're all un discussing right now what can we do uh, between different institutions to try and keep the patients here in Idaho as much as possible. RSV is also spread by respiratory droplets, so to avoid it, strict hand washing, avoiding large crowds are a must, and of course, masking up. Right now, we're getting multiple, <laughs> multiple illnesses coming together that don't usually show up at the same time. So if we're getting pediatric COVID, pediatric RSV, other pediatric respiratory illnesses, and like I said, our usual summer stuff like gastroenteritis and trauma, then that's that's a large number of patients all at the same time, and that puts a strain on the system. Okay, Katya, so we know the kids under 12 cannot get the COVID vaccine right now, but what's the impact if they get COVID and RSV at the same time? Well, Brian, that's a great, great question. And Dr. Cleveno says that they've only seen a couple of patients infected with both respiratory illnesses at once, and there's still a lot of information needed to be gathered. But she says it's very possible that the impact can be more severe simply because they're dealing with two effects of two viruses at the same time. So it's simple. She says if you want to keep your kids safe, get vaccinated. All right, I'm still stuck on that number by Dr. Bramo where they went from a thousand cases of RSV to zero in a matter of months. It's, it's still amazing. All right, thank you very much, Katya.